Oh, the judging process. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, almost 3,000 photographs um, and then, you know, down to 30. I mean, that's quite extraordinary. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's an incredible challenge on the mind, so, you know, to put it lightly, to start from almost 3,000 photos and then end up with 30. It's, it's not easy, but it, it was in, an incredible challenge. I mean, as a photographer myself, I, um, I, I loved it and I, I photograph. I mean, I've done, uh, judged other competitions before, um, but this one's quite unique. You really get, I think, a real feel for such a broad spectrum of photography and not just from professionals, but from amateurs as well. So there's always these surprises that come through. And um, for me personally, judging, it really is about the impact that the photography has on me personally. So it really has to move me. I, I have to feel something uh, in the photographs uh, in order for me to, you know, to get it to the next stage. Well, technicality was thrown out the door. <laughs> I'm not interested in technical things. I'm, I'm really interested in feeling. I'm interested in uh, the photographer's um, uh, how the photograph, you know, has sort of a representation of, um, well, the theme, which is Australian contemporary life, but really just the mood of the photograph. So, you know, everything from the, the, the colour template to the, the movement or the, the, the story. Uh, I mean, every, every photograph uh, for me it, it immediately needs to grab you, it immediately needs to tell you, take you on a journey and tell you a story just by looking at that photograph. It needs to invite you in and, and, really, and really take you in. So it has, to be in, it has to be really interesting. It has to be imperfect. I mean, perfection for me is boring. So when you bring something that is a little off kilter, you know, it has a little bit of a strangeness or um, mystery that that offers something out there, um, then I'm interested. I'm interested to look deeper into the photograph. And, and once you start looking deeper into that photograph, then you start to, to, to really see what that photograph is all about. Well, from th almost 3,000 photographs to start with online. It's an online process of, of, of looking at the photographs. Uh, there's three judges, there's myself, John Jones and, and Cheryl Newman. Uh, we all go through systematically every single photograph and we basically uh, edit that down to a, um, a semi-finalist category of, of photographs. So I think it was from three, almost 3,000 down to about 250 as semi-finalists and then from the semi-finalists down to about, well, down to 30 finalists that are here um, on the walls tonight. So it's, a, it's, it's an arduous process, it's epic, it's really, um, you know, it's, it's like I said, it's, a, it's an incredibly challenging and epic kind of process. And, it, and, and you know, it really sort of, you know, brings out all the emotions, you know, you see these incredible photographs and, and I think generally there was a lot of really, really great photography there, so I was quite surprised. Um, in, in, in the, the quality of the entries. So it made it even harder to, to, to sort of really, you know, pick out the, the best works. I think they need to really look at their work and, and, and really be honest with their, with their photography and their works. They, they need to really have an understanding that this is something that is quite extraordinary. So they need to be honest with themselves. If it's not a photograph that they can really be proud of, then I think they need to um, question that, that, that sort of um, entry because it really needs to jump out. It needs to be extraordinary in some capacity. Um, you know, all the photographs that do come into play that are kind of similar just get kind of looked over. It's the individual brilliance of certain photographs that come from these photographers, these kind of unique moments in our, in our times that really jump out, that really stand out. And so something has to shine 
and I think it's just honesty, you know, when it comes down to it. It's being brutal to yourself and, and be honest about what you feel is worthy.